Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thanks again for spending time with us. We are on December 18, just one more week, and you will have finished reading through the whole Bible in one year. Reach around and give yourself a good pat on the back. I'm so proud of you. You're, you're learning to be an E3 Christian. Say, what's E3 Christian? Every believer, every member, every day you read your Bible and pray. Every week you're in God's house. This is what you need to work on again for next year. It's amazing how our life changes when we're faithful in our relationship with God. Now let me talk to you a little bit about God's Word that we've been reading through all this year. One of the things you've noticed is there's a lot of things people say the Bible says that you have realized the Bible doesn't really say that. Look with me in our text today in chapter 30 of Proverbs, verse 5 and 6. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words, or he will rebuke you and prove you to be a liar. When I was a young pastor many years ago, I remember hearing this preacher who was an incredible storyteller, and he would take a Bible story, and I would not say he would dramatize it, but almost dramatize it. And when he finished telling the story, the Bible was there, but there was a lot of other things there. And I thought, I'm going to write a sermon like that. And I did. Unfortunately, a little old lady walked up to me after service one day and said, Pastor Sumrall, the Bible doesn't say two-thirds about what you said today. And at first, my feelings were really hurt. And then I realized that that little old lady was very right. I had added I had added to the Word of God. I had took, taken my dramatic license. I had done like a movie creator does, and you have to add in more details. And two-thirds of what I said that day didn't have anything to do with the Bible. Now, the Word of God is flawless. There's no flaws in it. Everything in the Bible will agree with each other. Maybe we need to study a little bit to understand, but everything in the Bible is flawless. Problems come when we start adding things to it. It's one of the reasons I don't like watching religious movies, because they take their dramatic license and they add things to it that it really doesn't say that. And the problem is when you start adding things, you take the flawlessness away because what you add is going to disagree with other things in the Bible. Let me encourage you today. When you teach people the Bible, when you sit down in a connect group, when you share the Word of God, please leave the philosophy and the metaphysics and all of the human wisdom, please leave that aside and simply teach people this is what the Bible says. Let's not add to the Bible. Let's just simply teach what the Bible says. His word is flawless. When we start adding things to it, we make a mess.